If you are in Dhaka and want to get a complete taste of its cultural diversity, you cannot miss out theatre. And the place you have to visit is Billy Road, the Natokpara or the theatre hub of the city. Anuradha and I wanted to know a bit more about the new theatre movement in Bangladesh and could not resist the temptation to visit the Jatiyo Nacho Shala or National Theatre. It seemed our stars were really favouring us. We came across one of the pioneers of the new theatre movement, Ramendu Mojumdar. We caught him at an ongoing exhibition of the journey of proscenium theatre in Bangladesh. Sir, um, what is so special about this festival that's going on right now? Uh, this is the 10th Biennial International Festival we are having with International Theatre Institute. Every two years we hold this kind of festival where we show the real a diversity of Bengali theatre today to our audience. You are here with the exhibition of posters of our uh, different productions. So uh, also one poster and also a photograph of that production. So there is a tendency these days that we, are, uh, we base our modern plays on folk legends also. Here is an example, Gunai Bibi. Uh, an example that they have converted this folk tale into a modern interpretation. These are contemporary plays, and this is one Tagore plays, uh, Red Oleanders. Yeah. And there has been recently two productions of Red Oleanders in Bangladesh. This is one. This is another production. Uh, this was directed by me and done by my Madhvi, uh, based on uh, the Visham Sani's Hindi play. This was translated by Ashish Goswami. Actually, the point of doing Madhavi was that uh, after 5,000 years also, the state of women has not been changed that much. So that was the point in going back to Madhavi. Uh, we will talk about, uh, you know, these uh, plays that posters have been put up here. But then let's go back to the beginning of uh, Theatre in Bangladesh, how did it all begin? Actually, the, it's a, the contemporary theatre, the proscenium theatre is an influence of the English uh, theatre. You all know that. But theatre has been in our life all through uh, for ages. But uh, simultaneously with Calcutta, there has been uh, theatre in uh, Dhaka also. But after the partition of 1947, the, uh, there was a break of theatre activities because the Pakistani regime wouldn't like to uh, encourage theatre. So there, there was a, a lull for that period. But after 1971, we achieved independence of Bangladesh. Then there was a revival. There was a, we call it new theatre movement of Bangladesh. And all these are the products of the new theatre movement. Uh, uh, theatre in any way help uh, in the liberation uh, war? Uh, to some extent, that was limited, yeah, because that uh, uh, to encourage people. But that was not that important. But these days, theatre plays a real big role in, uh, in the society, to influence the society. Because we always try to portray the things around us in the uh, theatre, in our plays. And most of our uh, plays are social satires, which is very popular in these days. Because in the um, mass media, government-controlled mass media, people don't find uh, uh, the truth, really, because government always uh, try to sometimes hide the truth. But on the, uh, yeah, on the stage, we definitely speak the truth. That's one point why theatre was very so, popular. Uh, 
Coming to the point that you try to portray truth through art, how much of government help or sponsorship do you get for this? Very little, very little. In fact, the Ministry of Culture in our country is the most, uh, uh, gets the lowest priority in our country because we have other priorities like food and etc. But uh, definitely we want that uh, there should be more allocation for arts and uh, uh, Ministry of Culture as such. Because you see this uh, National Theatre where we are now, this is an excellent building with uh, three theatres which has been done about five years back. Yeah, get infrastructure. So we want that these should be, this, had, this infrastructure has helped to uh, develop uh, our theatre. And the role of the government should be to build such infrastructures. We don't want money from the government. We want that uh, platform to work on. Uh, talent is there in Bangladesh, but then is uh, are many people coming forward to take part in theatrical activity? Yes, yes. Uh, there are about 300 groups all over Bangladesh, okay. uh, group theatre, which we call. Uh, that's they are, a yeah, that's a great number. And in Dhaka alone, about 100 groups are working. Every month they want to stage play uh, in different uh, productions. Uh, this is another production by National Theatre uh, Repertory. They have a repertory, uh, Gazi Kalu Champaboti. That is again based on a folk tale. Yeah, folk tale. Poster, poster says that. Mm. So, the so a lot of uh, your uh, modern theatre that you're doing in Bangladesh right now is based on folk legends. Uh, not lot really, but uh, there are quite a number, good number. Uh, this is another uh, major play. Dhabo Man by Selim al -Din, who was one of our um, leading playwrights, but he expired last year. So, one, one question that I had, like something in South Asia, uh, theatre is not very popular because um, of professional reasons, like there's not much money coming into it, so uh, is that a problem here? Yeah, we call it, uh, we do it for love for theatre, just passion, absolutely passionate theatre because we can't earn a single taka from uh, theatre, rather we spend on theatre. And that has not really uh, made it a, a big hindrance. But there are uh, actors who went from theatre to television where the money is there, but fame is there. But those who are more interested in the live performing arts, and definitely uh, they uh, stick to theatre, even they, though they don't get any money out of it. Okay. Like I had read somewhere that the ideological commitments uh, uh, in theatre were uh, a, a lot. So uh, does that still stay here? Like modern theatre also has its... Yes, to some extent, yes, uh, because ideology is very important. And in our country, uh, we... Uh, different groups have different uh, political or social... Uh, ideologies. They try to uh, portray those through that uh, their productions, but the main goal is to the welfare of people, 